You see it. You see it. It's David. Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Travel Beard, back with another video. You see the you see what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a Cynthia tray. I'm your host. Host is with the most. We're gonna do a Cynthia tray. I'm gonna show you the tray, show you what it looks like. Show you how to disassemble it. It's rather easy. This tray is probably one of the most basic, easiest trays you will come across with synthies. With that said, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so when I'm um, doing this tray, you want to go with the count sheet. Um, course so i'm gonna show you what the count sheet is for this particular tray there you go <laughs> all right now that you've seen the count sheet you see what i have to go through with this tray so theoretically when a count sheet is like that you could actually put the tray up missing everything but an experienced technician would most what most technicians will do even with experience or without experience you will just um, identify it with your manager person in charge just so they know that what is actually needed the most within a tray like this so clearly I know what's needed in this tray um, being that there's still no count sheet um, you know that they need the basic items like depth gauges uh, you know things of that sort so I'm sure you have to take apart certain things in the tray that's good
So that's basically what you have to do with um, trays like synthes. Anything that you just normally see that can come apart, just take it apart. Most of the times, um, if in Deacon Tam they did it, it will be clean. But when it comes to the side, if you know that it's dirty, send it back. But um, yeah, that's pretty much every synthy tray. Just take everything apart, just visually inspect it, make sure that everything is bioburden free and that it is good to be processed. That's the video. Peace. Okay.